Hello, people of the internet, and welcome to this next episode in our Fallout 4 playthrough. This could be the second to last, maybe the last, I don't know. With the way I'm looking at things, I'm trying not to get spoiled on anything. Um, but from what I'm looking at, uh, as far as mission-wise, it looks like we're pretty close to getting to the end of things here. Um, I'm shaking up my drink here. Um, we're pretty close to getting to the end. Um, so I don't know if I want to try to push to get it done tonight, or maybe do a couple of little things here and there, and then maybe finish it next week. I don't know. So we'll uh, we'll see. But if you're watching live, it looks like we've got Pepe and Hero here, and then I also was talking with Gabe earlier. What Flick Two? What is up? Long time no see. And Ballista's here. Wow, we got a full crew here right now to start things off. Awesome. I like it. Thank you guys. Um, but yes, if you're watching live here on Twitch or over on uh, Beam, thank you for stopping by. If you're watching after the fact, over on YouTube, thank you for checking out the video and the channel here. Um, so I don't know, I, I guess I'll just play, and if we beat it tonight, we beat it tonight. But uh, I think we are pretty close, at least main story-wise. I've been running around, uh, running around doing a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm actually paused here because I was playing earlier today, and I came upon this, and I thought it would be kind of cool to see this little side mission. Um, so we'll see. But uh, And I've got ten levels to use, too. Um, I've been doing a lot of little missions here and there and searching and everything, but let's get right to it. Enough for the talking. We'll get right to things. We'll take this uh, music on out here. This is Animusic. Check them out at Animusic.com or over on Animusic on the YouTubes. Bring this up. I've been busy watching vids and playing games, so yeah, well, that's all good, man. I appreciate you stopping by and saying hey. So, yeah, so I was running around doing stuff they're gonna to talk to me here for a moment I was running around doing stuff I've been doing all of these little missions for the people in the um, that are a part of the Brotherhood where they have you go out uh, and recover like items and then the other guy has you clear out areas so it's all just the same thing over and over again but I've been doing that a bunch um, so yeah and then there's this one here this Warwick homestead which I'll show you guys after this um, kind of interesting. I don't know if I'm going to be able to ever finish it. It may be glitched, but we'll see. But anyways, I was doing some searching around and came upon uh, this area here. This, was it the Polymer? Yeah, Cambridge Polymer Labs. And uh, I came in and sh she started talking to me about something, so Welcome kind of was interested to see what this is all about. Employment opportunities await in the field of scientific so she says I could have a job. And then you follow her into a room and that's where I... I Pause it and reloaded my game here. So, um, uh, what? Employment benefits include competitive salary, health coverage, accidental death coverage, and two weeks paid vacation. Employment opportunities await in the field of scientific research. Sweet. Should you begin your application now? Sure, why not? Sure, I'm game. Let's begin the interview. Due to increased demands for staff in all fields, we have condensed the employment test accordingly. Question one. Do you possess previous experience with polymer synthesis? Um. No. What, what is it? What are you talking about? Calculating test results. I am pleased to offer you the position of janitorial staff. Well, all I did was ask a question. Future uh. in the field of mopping floors. Would you like the orientation before beginning your work in the labs? Um, sure. Orientation. Sure. Why not? Wonderful. Alright. Yeah, what is up, Gabe? I know you were talking to me a little earlier, but yes, I still do stream every night. <laughs> I know you're just kidding around. Please find an open seat and we begin Glad you could stop by here. I know you're busy and stuff and weekends are the only time you can really get in, so in the research of a group of brilliant graduate students. John Elwood, Erica Woolham. And Wilfred Bergman met during their time together at CIT. This slide shows them at their graduation. Their research into nucleostrictive and piezoelectric polymers caught the attention of Colonel George Kemp in the fall of. Hopefully, this doesn't take too long. In the spring of 2074, the company was founded with a generous grant provided. Probably turn that up just a little bit. Experimental research project initiative. 
The research produced here has resulted in several of the components used in the Liberty Prime project that led to the successful defense of Anchorage. The company enjoys a strong relationship with the military and welcomes your addition to the research team that helps build a better America. Please think, follow me to the research follow her. lab. Uh, anything fun going on? How's dad life? Dad life is good. She's starting to crawl. Um, yesterday was the first day she started crawling, so she is now mobile and we're gonna have to watch out for that now <laughs> but uh besides that fun stuff going on uh, just playing games and whatnot oh hold on a second i forgot to uh send out word here there we go yes she is now a mobile baby it's kind of scary we got the ps4 sweet are you guys talking about got the PS4 of the game you guys are talking about? Or you got a PS4? I thought you had a PS4. You're probably talking about you got the PS4. Jumpsuit and mop? I took the rat away. I took the rounds. Where's my jumpsuit and mop? Not here. There's no jumpsuit and mop. Welcome to the team. Welcome to the team. All right, cool. Go through. Please enter the clean room. Clean room. Next thing I know, your kids are moving out. And your grandpa. Yeah, don't. Standing for containment. Started the Cambridge Polymer Labs. Ah, I'm getting rads. Please report to the project lead, Dr. Elwood Woolen, for specific research assignments. Starting decontamination sequence. Oh, okay. You got the game for. Okay. You contamination labs. All right. So, ah, oh, crap. They're hurting me. What was the objective? Find another way to escape to the laboratory and complete the research project. I don't want to do all this. I just want to insert radioactive unidentified sample. Put that in there. I just wanted to escape. I didn't know I had to do all this. Yeah, can I just escape then? There's baddies out there. Well, let's see if I can just escape. I do have 10 levels I've got to use too, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Jeez. I guess I can try to find a way out here. I don't need to do the, uh, the thing, right? Banjo Kazooie. I played it last night, and uh, we got up toward close to the end of things, and I couldn't go any later than I was playing. <clears throat> we got up to the door to fight the final boss, and I didn't realize I needed a certain amount of. Uh, I know I needed a certain amount of notes, which I got, but then I didn't realize that I needed a certain amount of. Um, Certain amount of, of the jiggies, the puzzle pieces. Oh, here's the other another funny example. Um, so I couldn't go any later than I than I did. Uh, so tomorrow I'm most likely gonna. That was last night. I've been here. Um, yeah, that was last night, and I most likely I'm gonna try to do it tomorrow. Um, no promises, because we're gonna be out and about. But I'm gonna try to go ahead and finish the game up tomorrow. Um, we're pretty much near the end. Uh, I just have to get a few more puzzle pieces, and then we'll uh, we'll be able to just fight the boss, and that'll be it. So it should be pretty quick if I do it tomorrow. I'll keep you guys up to date on Twitter and all that. So I would like to actually get it finished tomorrow. <clears throat> all right, maybe I shouldn't have done this then, because 
I just want to get out of here. I don't want to do all these samples and stuff. Oh, shoot. There one more than one Mexican savage? What do you mean more than one Mexican savage? This is a weird area. Oh, here we go. Oh, right, you know what? Actually, what am I doing? How oh, stupid. This has been doing this too. Whenever I go to save or load, it takes forever to load up the thing. Crap. I just was going to load my other game and just go out and I'll come do this on my own time, I guess. Just wanted to get two things in. Don't, for, don't, don't forget to set your clocks back tonight, guys, for those of you that observe the daylight savings time. Tonight, we gain the extra hour, so I'll be probably streaming for about three hours because that'll be the extra. Every Mexican is savage. Alright, it's not frozen, it's just the game being stupid. It takes forever to load up the actual screen, I don't know why. Um, well, hold on, let me let me see if I can just get out of here. Uh, you were telling him about how he didn't have enough jiggies in Banjo, I thought it was- oh. Yeah, was that- was that Mexican last night? I totally forgot who was here last night, guys. I was so out of it. I did end up getting a good amount of sleep, I think, last night. Definitely in a better mood and feeling better than I was, so... I honestly don't remember who was all here last night, so I'm sorry. You set your clock back last night? <laughs> Seriously? I already opened the door, just go. This isn't the way out. This is no good. Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah, I still have to play the first, honestly. Um, I want to play the first. I've got it on my list to start playing as well here soon. Because I have not uh, not played it. I own it. Or I got it. It was a free download. And... Uh, at all. But yeah, I've got that on my list as well to, uh, to start playing here soon yeah I, I if I would have just stopped and thought about it then yeah I, I do remember he was here I was just I'm just so was so out of it last night can I get out of here or do I have to do this whole mixing of everything the dogs on sale was only 30 okay so far on sale it was okay so far I didn't want to do this. No, oh crap. I just, I'll just do this some other time. I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing here, so I'll go ahead and load that. So, oh well, beginning here. Metal Gear, so Metal Gear Solid, yes, I would like to play the Metal Gear Solid as well. That's a really good game I, I enjoy. <clears throat> so this first part, we'll, uh, we'll just scratch this first part here want to replay fall yeah i would like to get to do the dlc as, as well oh well, i guess it let me out the door i would like to get the dlc i just don't have money to get all the dlc stuff but i'll eventually get that and kind of play through it i won't stream it or anything but not Kenor's type of game what do you mean metal gear solid no i love the original metal gear solid yeah i'm on the original playstation yeah i've got that i've got a lot of the all of the Metal Gears up to, I don't have five, but, and I don't have four anymore. I had it, and then I, I think I sold it or something. Um, but anyway, so this, I guess, will be the beginning here, so if you're watching live or, or checking this out on YouTube, uh, this is kind of the first part. We just were going through this Polymer Labs, and I wasn't really paying attention to much to what was going on, 
I'll do that kind of on my own time. But first, let's go ahead and level up a bunch. It's more strategy than...